Welcome to another edition of Mulligan Speakers International MSI Showcase. I'm Diane Mulligan, president of Mulligan Speakers International. We're so glad to have you today, and we're so glad to have Neen James. You know, Neen, every couple weeks or so, we bring our speakers on to get to know more about them and their passions and how they can really integrate their areas of expertise into topics that are very important to meeting planners. So I'm so glad to have you today. Tell me a little bit about you. Well, Dane, it's always a delight to be with you. Well, what would you like to know? I love productivity, as many of your clients know. And all I want to do is really work out how I can help people make a real impact in the world through productivity. So when I'm not talking about productivity, you'll find me either riding my Harley or collecting shoes, two of the things that I love. I love that about you. I can't tell you how much. And I also love the fact that I am trying to keep so many dishes spinning constantly on those sticks. Um, and so many of your tips have made such a difference to me. So I know this is going to help the meeting planners out there because they have the same type of life with every trying to keep everything going. Um, now, you recently wrote an article for bizbash.com. Is that right? Mm -hmm. For the Meetings Magazine, yeah. Yes, and it was on um, really on how the speakers should be thought leaders and not thought repeaters. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, the phrase thought leaders need to be, uh, speakers need to be thought leaders, not thought repeaters, is from a gentleman by the name of Matt Church. And Matt contributed to a book called Thought Leadership. He's probably one of the world's best thought leaders. And when I heard that phrase, I was really challenged by it. You see, I think what happens is a lot of speakers are just regurgitating information. You know, they quote people, famous people, Brian Tracy, Stephen Covey, all of the greats. And yet what happens is they don't come up with original thought. I think meeting planners are looking for people who can really energize the audience with new, fresh information, not just regurgitating stuff that, you know, some of the famous pioneers have created. So when many players go out there and they're looking for speakers, what specific things should they look for so they know they're really getting a thought leader and not a thought repeater? You know, I believe that meeting planners need to look for people who can deliver practical, relevant, implementable information, not just theory, not just feel-good, fluffy bunny stuff. They need their audiences to walk away with things that can be implemented immediately. True thought leaders challenge their audience to think a little bit differently about something, but they also give people advice, wisdom, insight, of things they can do every day to make their lives better. And that advice and wisdom and insight, that's so important. Are there maybe three things that you would look for when you were listening to a speech that would really take the, the speech to the next level? There are three things that I think are really important. A true thought leader is published. A thought leader takes the courage and puts their thoughts out into the world, their original thoughts. And so I would look for people that are published either in a book format, white papers, in academic magazines, that shows they've done the research. I'd also look for client testimonials. I'm a real fan of seeing what the clients are saying about the speaker. And the third thing that kind of builds on that is what are the results? What are the actual results that the audience has enjoyed as a result of working with that speaker? I would love it if they feel good. I hope they have a great time. But the reality is meeting planners know that for the audience to have a phenomenal experience, they want a thought leader who shows depth, that the client thinks is fabulous, and has the results to prove it as well. Isn't that true? And when they go back and, and they're talking to their boss or to their family, I mean, how much they're able to implement really makes a difference on how effective that conference really was for them and may make a huge difference in whether or not they come back again the next year. Absolutely. I was talking with one of my clients in the cable industry yesterday, and they claim as a result of one of the projects we did together that they have saved across 850 people potentially over a million hours in meetings. That's outstanding. That's amazing. That is, it is. absolutely it's exciting, amazing. Right? And when you talk as meeting planners, when you talk to your speakers, ask them about tangible results because that's the type of thing that you want to be able to share with your client and your, uh, your boss especially, but also the audience because I think that then shows the audience this is a person who knows what they're talking about, not someone who's just repeating everyone else's stuff. 
And definitely you are a person who knows what she's talking about. I'm so thrilled <laughs> to work with you. And you really are representative of so many of the speakers that we have at Mulligan Speakers International. So thank you so much for taking the time today. We really appreciate it. And thank you to all the meeting planners that are out there for watching us today. I hope you got some great information. We'll be back again in a couple of weeks with MSI Showcase. I'm Diane Mulligan, president of Mulligan Speakers International. Have a great one.